patient undergoing treatment in a San Antonio hospital has captured the attention of the nation. The man contracted typhus. Well, one month later, he lost his hands and toes. Doctors told his family it was caused by a single flea bite. A single flea bite. This prompted questions from many of you, including how do we know if we have the disease? Ken's 5's Alicia Niaves got the answers. Alicia? Well, at first, Michael Kolhoff's family thought he got COVID or the flu because his symptoms were aligned with those illnesses, but he just kept getting worse. One day, he woke up and his feet were numb. He went to the hospital and that same night he went into septic shock. So we asked an expert, how do we know if we have typhus and what can we do to avoid getting it? 35 year old Michael Kolhoff's battle with typhus put the disease in the spotlight. Unfortunately, this man had a very severe case. Dr. Jason Bowling with UT Health San Antonio says the most common typhus in Texas is transmitted by a bite from a cat flea, mostly occurring during the warmer months. He says the majority of symptoms are similar to COVID or the flu. People can have fever, they can have chills, feel very weak, feel bad just in general. Can get some nausea, vomiting, headache. Not everyone will get a rash from the flea bite. Bowling says if your symptoms get worse, see a doctor as soon as you can, especially if you have underlying illnesses. To test for typhus, doctors need a blood sample, which could take a week to get back. You'll likely get an antibiotic to avoid delaying treatment. Make sure your pets get the appropriate flea treatments. To help avoid getting a flea bite, keep your trash cans closed. Don't pet stray animals. And if you leave food outside for your pet, keep in mind other animals can get to it. It's called the cat flea, but really this flea can be in other animals like opossums, which live around a lot of neighbor, like a lot of people's houses. Most people who get flea bites will not get typhus. It's treatable, it's curable, and most cases do not cause severe disease. All right, tonight we have an update on Michael. His family tells us he is still in a lot of pain from his surgeries. But get this, doctors are hoping despite his toe amputations, he will still be able to walk without a prosthetic. Another grafting surgery is set for tomorrow. Alicia Niaves, Ken's Five.